Hey everyone, Dawson here in the Apollo Division here at Person Texas DCMP here with 3847 Spectrum. Here to talk about their amazing robot, pivoted shooter, trap, and amp mechanism. Really excited to get down here with the winning winners of the Belton District event and finalists at the Houston District event. Really excited to get down here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Daniel, let's start off with you. Talk to me about just behind, underneath the bumper intake that you guys have. So, as you can see here, we have two uh, intake rollers um, with silicone wrapping. Uh, we chose to have the silicone wrapping in the center because it helps center the notes in. We also have these two uh, 3D printed wedges with Teflon on them to also help center the note. And um, on our sort of modules, we have more wedges to help center our notes. And we chose uh, to have a full width intake to help our margin of error and make uh, intaking a lot smoother and easier for us. Now let's give it off to Emma, talking about the pass through to the launcher that you guys have. Yeah, so if we intake, Done that before. Oh, don't. Okay. Want to take again? Yeah. So it goes up to our feeder, which just is two rollers, uh, also polycarb rollers covered in silicone. Um, we have, you can disable. Our launcher uh, has a sector gear at the bottom, reinforced with steel plates. Oh, thank you. Reinforced with steel plates. That's how we control our angle. Uh, there's very little slop in it. Our launcher itself is 13 and a half inches wide with 3 8 inch of vertical compression. We're using black 2 inch anti-mark south wheels. Um, favored on the right side to give the note more spin, our left side from the robot's perspective. Now let's hand it off to Gabby. Talk to me about your uh, amp mechanism that you have to transfer the note into that mechanism. And I assume it's also used for trap as well? Yeah, for sure. So we call our amp trap mechanism because it can score on both the amp and the trap. Um, so if you come over here, you can see that um, once the note is in the indexer, it can feed back down and up through the backpack, through these rollers, silicone wrapped polycarb tubes. Um, and it comes up like that, and then it makes a U-turn into the amp or the trap. And we use this powered cape so that it can really push the note down into the amp or the trap if you want to see. So there it goes. So this being really loose right here, it's how helpful has this been? Just, just that, that goes with the note, essentially? Yeah, it basically just goes with the note and helps to push down the note um, because we needed to make sure that it could go in both the amp and the trap and the different angles. Um, we had a little bit of trouble with that at the beginning of the season, but we ended up with this concept uh, that works. Now let's hand it over to Oscar, talking about your climbing mechanism that you have and the functionality of it. Okay, so here you see our climber. Right now we're just running it on the chain. So it's kind of a tilted elevator type thing where yeah. we put the hooks up all the way up to here. And then we go on the chain, we drive into it. Our robot kind of flexes a little bit. We pull it down to halfway. We throw the amp trap mechanism up, right? And then we pull the chain all the way down so we can climb amp trap. Are we able to see that? Uh, we can see it right now if you enable. And then, and then you guys just put, pull it back down to climb? Yeah, we pull it. You didn't have to do the whole trap. Go for it, yeah. Now, Evan, tell me about your programming that you guys have. It seems like you guys have some vision system as well as some autonomous. Yeah, so we have four limelights, three 3Gs, and one 3. And we're using them all for localization. So we're able to, during teleop, figure out where we are on the field and make consistent shots from there. And we have an absolute encoder on our launcher to allow us to know where we are uh, with our launcher very accurately for a pivot, pivot angle. And then during autonomous, we're able to use our odometry and figure out where we are using that uh, without localization data. Uh, and it works very consistently and reliably. 
3847 Spectrum, an open alliance team. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys have done with it. And congratulations on the great success you guys have. Excited to see you guys continue on here in Frozen Tech with DCMP. Thank you guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.